Hey guys, so believe it or not, this shot was not done using a drone. This shot was captured using 360 technology, specifically the latest Insta360 X4. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now, do you guys like driving? I like driving. Sometimes a little too much. Oh shit. Oh, he spun out again, bro. Oh, I got it again. When you're driving, do you ever wish you could film yourself and the road at the same time? Well, with the X4, you totally can. You were out vlogging and wish you caught a better angle of something? Well, you're able to capture every angle possible now. You want to film your car like a video game? Well, this is literally the camera I use for those insane POVs. The beauty of this camera is that you can shoot now, reframe later. As a content creator on the go, it's nice to just whip out the camera, capture the moment, and then let the creative juices flow later. Before I head to the mountains and show you guys more driving footage, let me tell you the insane specs of this camera. The X4 can capture up to 8K, yes you heard me right, 8K 30 frames per second. That's 78% more pixels than the previous X3 which I'm currently shooting on right now. For slow motion, we can record up to 4K 100 frames per second. The X3 previously tapped out at 4K 60. So that's pretty impressive, super slow motion. That's still ultra crisp. If we're talking quality, this is the current cream of the crop. Now, obviously, if you don't want to film in 360, you can switch to a traditional single lens mode that shoots up to 4K 60. So essentially, you're getting two cameras in one. Now for photos, we get 72 megapixel pure shot photo. The X4 uses AI to deliver photos with less noise and improved colors. Now, looking at the body, the X3 had a pretty large screen already, but the X4, screen got even larger, which is a good thing. Most action cam batteries look like this. This is the X4's battery. It's a massive battery boasting 135 minutes of recording time. To give you a reference, the current GoPro Hero 12 can only record up to 90 minutes. Okay, so this is obviously a powerhouse of an action cam. On top of the impressive resolution, it has the best stabilization in the game, and the camera itself is waterproof too. But let me tell you why it's perfect for us car enthusiasts. As an automotive creator, lots of things can happen, so having high quality 360 recording is a game changer, as you'll never really miss a shot. All new to its design is the addition of a removable lens guard. Made of highly transparent tempered glass, the premium lens guard is a must have for us car enthusiasts wanting protection without sacrificing clarity. If you're mounting this outside the car, you're definitely gonna need this. Now all the magic happens with their invisible selfie stick. The selfie stick disappears in your footage, creating that floating camera effect we all know and love. There's even an extended version of the selfie stick that's 10 feet long. All right, now I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to get that third person floating POV. What's funny is I drove all the way up the mountain to film this part and I realized I forgot my tripod at home. <laughs> all good though, I'm just gonna be using the X4 with the invisible selfie stick on a suction cup, uh, so it all works out. Okay, what I have here is the Insta360 triple suction cup mount system. This is a three part system and each component is going to be very important for mounting your camera. Not only is this system very flexible, you can adjust your camera angle, uh, but most importantly, it's very sturdy. Part one, we have a all metal base with two suction cups on it. Go ahead and pump those suction cups on. This is part two. This is the action invisible selfie stick made out of carbon fiber. This is what the camera is going to be mounted to. Slot that in to the base, tighten this knob, and then you wanna leave these two outer knobs loose so that you can adjust the angle. Final part of the equation, this is the support rod. You're gonna slide this down the selfie stick and then tighten it down here. So you can adjust your angle. You can go higher like this, 
or you can just go a little bit lower like so. All right, so I don't think this is gonna be the best POV, but no problem. Just to show you how flexible this suction cup mount is, if we mount this lower, this will be better. The final suction cup goes on the trunk, and because we left the two knobs up top loose, we can still adjust our final angle. Once everything looks good, let's go ahead and tighten everything. With these three mounting points, it's kind of hard to beat this suction cup system. It is very, very stable. All that's left to do now is make sure you have the premium lens guard on the X4, and then you can mount the camera. Editing 360 footage has also been made very, very easy. With their current mobile app, you can reframe your footage in multiple ways. You can physically move your phone, you can swipe on the screen, you can also use the virtual joystick, or simply long press the subject to activate tracking. For beginners overwhelmed with the unlimited framing possibilities, you can also let AI choose for you. If you'd like a more hands-on approach, you can still manually reframe via keyframes. I really like using the motion ND effect as it creates motion blur without having ND filters, making the footage more cinematic. Another thing to note is 360 video now only generates one Insta360 file. Previously, it generated two files, which kind of drove me nuts. So I'm glad Insta360 has taken the steps to make the editing experience as easy and intuitive as can be. Because the X4 records such cinematic video, I'm more inclined to combine its footage with my other camera's footage. Plus, the unique angles you can get really do elevate the final product you're creating. Sunday Canyon Cruise, racing at the track, adding a little spice to your filmmaking, or just hanging out with your buddies, whatever it may be, the X4 is something that does it all.